click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So friends, in the previous topic, we have discussed about the numerical based on decay constant problem number two. And here basically we are going to talk about the problem number three. So what is this and how it is different from the previous one? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friend, this is the numerical that is what we have and we have to solve this problem. So the problem is the half-life of sodium 24, it means that is the atomic number of this sodium is found to be 24, is 900 minutes. So what is its decay constant? So here only one particular data has been given to us and that is the T half that is half-life. So therefore we could write it over here as T half which is found to be here as 900 minutes and for that we have to also calculate the decay constant which is denoted by lambda so we can easily find out by the formula that is what we know we know the formula for the decay constant as well as the half-life and which is found to be t half is equals to 0 0.693 divided by lambda so here let us substitute the values and let's see what is the answer we could get. So here for the T half value, we have got to know it is 900 minutes. And this is the value that is what we already know. That is 0 0.693. That is nothing but a constant value. And here basically we have to find out the value of lambda. That is the decay constant. So therefore, lambda is equals to 0 0.693 divided by 900 minutes. So in that case, the value of the decay constant will have a unit which is minute inverse. So let's see what is the answer we could get over here. So here after calculation, we have got the value as 7.7 .7 into 10 raised to minus 4 minute inverse. So therefore, this is the value of the decay constant for this numerical. And that's it. It was so simple. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly. And I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.